Good day everyone. So for this video, I am going to show you how to create a chart using the survey that you have gathered. Okay, so to start, you should have Microsoft PowerPoint software. Okay, and at this point, you should already have your survey results and it should already be tallied. So the first step is to open a new PowerPoint presentation like this one. And uh, of course, it will already have a title and content slide. So for the title, you think of a title that would suit your uh, the topic of your survey. Like for example, uh, climate change or uh, global warming or it can also be other kinds of surveys. Like uh, for uh, in my case, I, this is my example, beverages. So that would be my title. Okay, so you can make it bigger and you can add your name here on the subtitle. You can also add your uh, grade and section at the bottom of your name. Uh, for example, this would be grade 5 St. Jude. <clears throat> Next, so add a new slide. The slide should be title and content. So for the title, you are going to uh, to type the question on the title. So for my first question, the example is, on your table, you can find different kinds of beverages. Which among the following beverages would you like to drink? So I can make it smaller so that the chart would fit in perfectly on this content. So what will I do next once I have already typed the title, the question? So just an idea. the for each slide, there will only be one question. Okay, so in here, you can see here different icons. So once you hover over the these icons, it will show you what kind of icon that is. Like for example, this one is the insert chart. This one is the insert table, pictures, online pictures, insert video, insert a smart art graphic, 3D models and insert an icon. So what you will choose here is the insert chart icon. So click on it. Okay, then choose the pie chart. So there are different kinds of pie chart available, but you should choose the first one. And this is it. Then click OK. So once you click OK, you will notice that there will already be a pie in here and there will be another window that will open the that looks like this so this is an excel file so what are you going to do with it okay so here is where you will type in the here is where you will type in the the tally the results of the survey that you have gathered for the quest so for the first question okay so on the column A, you will type the choices of the question. So the, the choices are, the first choice is, so you will change this, this. Okay, first is you change it to, okay, these are the choices to my question. Water, soft drinks, coffee or tea, hard drinks. And you change the sales to mm, answers. So this is the answers of the people. So overall, there are 15 who answered water, 18 who answered soft drinks, 9 who answered coffee or tea, and 8 who answered hard drinks. So you will also notice that as you were changing those data, the data on the chart also has changed. 
it has been changed to make it similar to this one, to what you typed on the spreadsheet. So you have here your water, soft drinks, coffee, and coffee or tea and hard drinks, and same this on this one, on the legends, water, soft drinks, coffee, and tea. And as you notice, that once you change the answers on column B, the pie chart, the partition on the pie chart will also change. Like for example, I will change this to 2. So you notice that it will automatically be changed depending on the answers. Okay, so, so what am I going to do next? So since that it is already complete, it is finished, I can now close the spreadsheet. And it will be like this. So what will I going to do with the chart? So you can edit the chart by going to design tab. And you can change the how it will look like. It can be like this, like this. It can also be like this. This one. So it's up to you how you will make it more beautiful and more presentable to the people. <clears throat> Okay, let's proceed. I still have a few questions left. Question number two. Which would you choose? Water or soft drinks? So as you notice, on this one, it only has two, two choices. Either water or soft drinks. So I will also choose pie here. Choose the first one, then click OK. So, on sales, I will change it to answers. And for the first column, I will type there water and soft drinks. But you will notice that it will have two more choices, but you only have two choices and this one has four. So, what are you going to do with the excess choices? So, you can, uh, if you notice here, it has this blue button, which means you can resize it. So you are going to resize the choices so that it will only contain two. So you resize it so that it will only have two data, water and soft drinks. So the answer for this is 33 on water and 17 on soft drinks. And for this, you can just erase this, the third quarter and fourth quarter. And you are left with this. Okay? So you, if you are finished, you just press X and you edit the data that you have. Okay, so next. Quest, next and last example. Which among the following water brands do you like most? So I, again, I will click on the uh, insert chart. I will click the pie chart, choose the first one, then click OK. So in this case, I have lots of choices to choose from. So I will change again the sales to answer answers. And I will change this to Wilkins, Absolute, uh, Viva, SM Bonus, Summit, Evian, Aquabest, and others. So as you notice, it has more than four choices. So what you can do is you can, again, you can resize this blue button here. You just, you just click on it and you resize to the number of choices that you have. And you type in the answers. Like for example, I have here 12, 12, 6, 3, 3, 4, 5, 5. So these are... The tallied results, and here is my chart based from this result. So once I finish, I click X and I edit the chart to make it 
presentable to the people. There. So once you are finished, you can save the file. Go to File tab. Click on Save As. Browse where you want to save your file. And for the file name, it should be Survey Your Section and Surname. Then click Save. So that would be all. I hope that you learn a lot from this video. I will see you on the next video. Bye!